All right, now the final topic for the uh, general ledger accountant is multi-ledger processing. The functions of it, reporting, and inquiry. Very important aspect of R12 and very useful. What multi-ledger means is you set up something called a ledger set. A ledger set groups ledgers together. As long as they're on the same chart of accounts and calendar, they can be grouped into a ledger set. And thus I can do some things across all of them at the same time, simultaneous, like opening periods, closing periods. I can create closing journals, allocations, mass allocations that is, recurring journals. And I can do translation of their ending balances before I consolidate. And more importantly, you can do reporting. In other words, I can do a financial statement showing multiple companies um, across or multiple ledgers on one report. A good way to do consolidation also. So there are some uh, nice aspects of this that we'll look at and I'll show you a few examples of what all you can do with a ledger set. And then of course you can do inquiry and I'll discuss a little bit about inquiry in SLA in a minute after we uh, get through the ledger set processing. Um, so I'm just going to do a few little uh, slideshows, I mean some demos for you on this and no lab per se. So let me go into a responsibility here that has a ledger set attached to it. For instance, I'll show you some other ones. I'm going to click on general ledger and notice there's some specific ones like SSC France, Italy, US, and then there's a worldwide. These right here above are all individual ledgers. However, I've got one set up that is worldwide, has access to all of these ledgers.